Hello everyone, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2019 exam. Let us first read the statement, then I am going to provide the solution for this question. It says, consider z is equal to x minus y, where x, y and z are all in sine magnitude form. x and y are each represented in n bits. To avoid overflow, the representation of x would require a minimum of Option A is n bits, then n minus 1, n plus 1, and n plus 2 bits. Okay. So you can see we are subtracting a sine magnitude number from another sine magnitude number. And let us see in worst case how many bits of overflow can be caused. So x and y both are of n bits. To cause overflow, if I take this one as the biggest positive number and this one as the smallest negative number, will surely cause overflow. Okay. See, let us suppose n is equal to 4. In 4 bits, using sine magnitude representation, the range will be minus 2 power 4 minus 1 minus 1 to plus 2 power 4 minus 1 minus 1 okay so this will be 2 power 3 which is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so this is minus 7 2 plus 7 okay this is the range that you can get with 4 bits let us take x is equal to plus 7 okay if this number x is plus 7 and y is minus 7 x minus y will be 14. Okay. That means in worst case, x minus y is 14 if uh, x and y are 4 bits. Okay. How many bits are required to represent 14? It's 5 bits. Because with 5 bits, the range that you will get is minus 15 to plus 15. Okay. 14 is in this range. That means if the numbers are of 4 bits, in worst case, the result can be of 5 bits. Okay. Now, if the result is of 5 bits, that means you are causing an overflow of 1, 1 bit in worst case. Okay. So, you should have n plus 1 bits if you want to prevent overflow. Answer is option D, n plus 1. Okay. And if you just Ignore the fact that they are represented in sign magnitude representation just for a moment. See, whatever are the numbers, they are n bit, okay. In worst case, these are the numbers. For now, ignore that they are in sign magnitude representation. Just look at as at these numbers as normal binary numbers. Okay. So if you add them, you are going to get this. That means in worst case, you can cause only one bit of overflow. Okay. If you add any two binary numbers, you can never cause two bits of overflow. So option A is rejected. Okay. Option B and C, option B is also rejected because there is an overflow of one bit possible. Option C is, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. They are saying you add two n bit numbers and only n minus one bits are required. So this is just written to confuse you. So your answer is obviously n plus one. We have right now proved it also. Okay. 